Summertime, which means high outside temperatures, currently 96 degrees, but the inside temperature is a cool 75.2. How do we get there? What are we using to run? How are we staying cool? All the details are next on this special episode of Tiny Wonderland. We're going in a hole, hang on. Okay. That's okay, we're in a hole. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> okay, that was a lot quicker than I thought it was. We are cooking up some bird's eye. Looks pretty good so far. Should be a few minutes before this is really good. Chains without a jump dragger up the hill. We'll worry about chains later. We call this a CTC, which stands for cargo trailer conversion, or cargo trailer co camper, or cargo trailer crap, whatever you want to call it. It has all kinds of names. In case you're wondering what four week old poop looks like after it's been chemically treated, and there's your answer. A month to 17 children, I would thought you might have had like 30 of those cards. Oh, I, this is just for two days? Wonderland, I'm your host, Jay. We are currently in Cedar City, Utah. Today, we're going to be discussing how to keep a tiny home cool. Now, of course, that has to happen with an air conditioner, right? Well, you can run on solar, you can run on electricity, shore power like we are now, you can run on batteries off of a car, you can run on isolation systems, uh, you can run off of generators, all kinds of things. But what if there was a way to run your appliances without a lot of noise and a lot of damage to the environment? Well, there is. It's called the Zender Superbase Pro. Now this product is in development and I am actually testing it. Uh, fair warning to you, this is, they weren't, they didn't pay me to do this. Um, they just needed someone who could, uh, who runs, you know, solar and tiny home life to test this thing out. So we're putting it through its paces. It's still got a few uh, quirks here and there. So uh, we're not, uh, we're not expecting a lot, but uh, we're hoping for the best. So if you want, you can watch the unboxing review, which is on YouTube on this channel and you can see the unboxing of it. First of all we have an extension cord, we have the fully charged Zender Superbase Pro and we have the Toshiba air conditioner. Let's get some specs on this air conditioner. This is a Toshiba and the product number is second here The RAC-WK06112CRRU. So that is Romeo Alpha Charlie-Whiskey Kilo 0612 Charlie Romeo Romeo Umbrella. And we are looking up the specs on this on Toshiba's website. And as you can see, it's got all kinds of stuff on here. Here are. So power supply is 115 volt. Cooling area is 150 to 250 square feet. We are in 72 square feet. Plug type, uh, doesn't matter. Control, touch, refrigerant, yeah, color, white. Capacity, 6,000 BTUs. Rated input, 536 watts. Current is 5 amps. 11 BTUs uh, an hour. And product dimensions and weight. Okay, so now that we have all that and we know what we're running, we're going to see how long the Zender can keep up with the Toshiba. So first, we're going to shut the Toshiba off. Okay. It takes a minute to shut off. <laughs> All right, well, we'll let it do its thing. We're going to take, oh, we haven't given her a name yet, but the Zender here. And I'm going to put it on the floor here. Okay. We're going to run an extension cord 
from the Zender straight up to the Toshiba. Now, of course, we can't, we don't know, plug it in here, we don't know exactly how this is all going to work, as, again, we're in testing mode on all this stuff, so a lot of this stuff is going to come, we're going to just kind of have to figure it out as we go. Now, this is on wheels, so that may not be the best place to do that. Now, we're going to take the Toshiba, which is right here. Everything's kind of hard while already in here, so we're going to plug her in, okay? Good. Yeah. Now we're going to activate the AC unit, which I think is already on. Oh, that's off. Still learning this thing. Sorry. Okay. AC's on. Let's activate the Toshiba. Okay. So she doesn't even want to come on. Well, that's not a good sign. Let's try this. Plugged in, right? Okay. No power. Hmm. But we plugged the extension cord in, didn't we? Oh. My bad, guys. Gotta activate the AC unit. Duh. There we go. AC's unit on. Here goes the fan. Okay. We should have... Oh, yep, Toshiba lights green. Air conditioner's on. Low fan. Okay, this is saying, waiting for it to come on, hold on. We gotta wait for the good old compressor to kick in, guys, because that's when you really start to see the truth behind makes these things work. I'm going to drop to 68 degrees. Probably going to regret that. But <laughs> Maximum fan. Eco mode off. Okay. Compressor's kicking in. Let's go down here and consult this thing. Whoa, there's your fan. Wow. Okay, according to this, we can run this unit for five hours on this battery. 5.1. 4.9. 9. Four point seven. I'll putting five hundred and thirty two watts. Man, we can hear that fan. I'm guessing she needs that fan to keep alive. You can smell this thing, it's definitely working hard. And this is an air conditioner, folks. Four point four hours. So the time is currently 16.08. We set the timer here for 4.3 hours. 4. We'll say 4 hours to be generous. Okay, it's going to be done at 8 o'clock. 8.08 p.m. We're going to let this thing go and we're going to check back and see where we're at in like two hours. Okay? We're going to set a reminder in here. We're going to set it for Six o'clock. Okay. There's our reminder. Okay. So we'll check back in six o'clock and see what the percent is. We're at a hundred percent and the air conditioner is cruising. We're gonna come back.
See how the Super Bass Pro does on this air conditioner. Keep in mind the air conditioner and the microwave is one of the hardest things in a tiny home. The microwave is up there and it doesn't work, so unfortunately I can't test that. But we'll be doing all sorts of tests, so we're going to just test with this one. We're at 99%. See how she does. Hey everyone, we're back. Uh, temperature set at 68. Cool. Fan on high. It is currently 88.9 outside and 72.1 in here. It is uh, 613. Let's check on the status of this thing. Means we've been running now for two hours. 537 watt output. Uh, between 79 and 80 percent. Uh, the unit is actually remarkably cool. That's probably got to do with these really big fans on here, which we don't really. They're noisy, but. They're noisy for a good reason, so, um, yeah, it's saying we have two and a half hours left. Uh, that's pretty much it so far. Just wanted to give you guys a check. We'll come back at 8 o'clock uh, when this thing is supposed to be dead and see where we're really sitting, like the true, like the true reading. See, that says three and a half hours. And that says 4.7 hours. 6.2. Oh, you know what? The AC compressor just turned off. So now we're going to see the hours jump up. The load, when it's, see how the, the wattage went down to 46 watts from 500? Oh, and there goes our fans. It's pretty cool that you guys can see this live. So if you only had running 47 watts, you'd get love with the, for, for forever. In one of our tests later on, we're going to actually hook it into the mainframe of the tiny home. And that's, um, that's what controls uh, this wall right here. And we're going to run the whole tiny home, including the AC, off of it. Now, as you can hear it, the fans are almost off. It says I got 16.2 hours left on the battery. Eventually the fans will drop, but then the air conditioner is going to kick in again. So we're going to check back in in a couple hours. We are back. And it is 8.09, which means we're going to check in on our stress tester. It is 68 degrees, high fan, cool air. Showing 69.6 degrees inside, 36% humidity, very, very comfortable. The last uh, four hours, 90s and 80s. Let's take a trip down to our Super Bass Pro by Zender. Saying that we've got 5.8 hours left. Now keep in mind this number's going up. Keep in mind that what it does is, just like any battery, it's based on the load. So, as you'll notice, the 4G connection is activated. We're at 37% battery life after, what time did we start this, 4 o'clock? 4 hours. So, with the air conditioning going on and off, the compressor going, well, if we watch carefully, you'll probably see the compression, the number rise here. We could we could likely see seven hours out of an air conditioner. I'm not going to run it down to zero. In fact, I'm getting ready to plug in some solar connections as another test. But uh, we're going to wait for a second for the compressor to kick on. When it does, you're going to see the outputs rise. And then that's going to be the end of this stress test. Um, overall, I'm extremely impressed. I mean, this is quite a big box. So... I didn't expect it to just short out after like one hour. Uh, we got some other stress tests coming up. We got the refrigerator. We're going to try that as a stress test, see how we do with that. Um, I don't really know if I'm going to do the TV because that just uses such little electricity. The battery chargers to the Ryobi uh, and everything else is kind of house power. Uh, the microwave doesn't work, so we can't use that. 
what I would probably say we'll do next after the refrigerator, which we'll do tomorrow, we'll stress test the refrigerator for like five hours, and then we'll probably put it on the tiny home itself. Like the actual tiny home, the whole, the outside generator circuit, which is the shore power circuit. If this box can run the tiny home for like, say, six or seven hours, then I'm extremely impressed with this, this product. Again, there are a lot of things we're still trying to figure out, and they're still trying to, you know, the developers are still trying to get everything working, and the, the bugs worked out of everything, and of course that's going to take time. I couldn't tell you to save my life what the PF means on here, 0 0.9 PF. I'm going to look that up in the manual, and then I'll uh, try to figure that out for another test. But uh, this, is, uh, this is impressive, guys. It says that if we only were to draw 47 watts, we'd have 9.7 hours of battery life, which means that if you have something that's under 50 watts that you need to run 24 hours, this Zender Super Base Pro could realistically probably run it for 24 hours. But keep in mind that most things run higher than 50 watts. I mean, 50 watts is not a lot of juice. So we're going to go ahead and uh, wrap up the stress test in just a second. Um, and we'll see... Uh, Excuse me. We'll see just 37% uh, after four hours. I mean, you can't beat it. I mean, it's it's obviously a very strong machine, and we just have to keep trust, keep doing stress tests, functional tests, uh, trying to get the Wi-Fi work. We've been working on that for like two days now. Uh, this does seem to be a little touchy when you touch the screen, but. Um, now, of course, it doesn't want to turn back on, so it makes me look like an idiot. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys can see all my uh, places the tiny wanderer has wandered. Technically, though, if you're watching this, these are the places that I've wandered. The tiny wanderer has only been to Nebraska and Utah. So, eventually, well, that's not entirely true. The tiny wanderer has been through Wyoming and uh, well that's it <laughs> Nebraska Utah Wyoming it hasn't been to California hasn't been to Maryland hasn't been to Nevada hasn't been to Iowa hasn't been to South Dakota Kansas Arizona Alaska hasn't been to Cancun has been to Oklahoma New Mexico those are just places I've gone and picked up magnets on but the Tiny Wander itself has its own journeys that, uh, you know, obviously we'll be doing um, as we strengthen it, you know, and that's where Brutus comes in. And if you don't know who Brutus is, you should be watching other videos because Brutus is explained in other videos. Anyway, it looks like this stress test is not going to give me what I want. So we're at 37. Oh, hey, look, speak of the devil. Look, ready? Listen. Okay, so the compressor is turned on on the air conditioner, and we are putting out 482 watts, 460, 450, it fluctuates a little bit. So you see we got about two hours left. So if this is right, 8 to 9, 9 to 10, let's say we ran this down to zero, we would probably be looking at 4 to 5, uh, about seven hours of air conditioning on this on just air conditioning alone nothing else so when we plug the air conditioner the refrigerator and all the lights in I expect that we'll probably get a lot less but anyway that's gonna do it for this episode of the tiny wonderland hopefully you guys um, are following along on the adventures of the Zender Super Bass Pro I know this isn't exactly adventurous but stress tests generally aren't very glamorous so see she's shutting down already which means the compressor is only staying on long enough to just give us enough juice to keep us cool all right see you guys next time